So this is the uh, Nerd Command Center here, and I uh, just got a Best Buy gift card for several hundred dollars, and really couldn't think of what to spend it on. And I saw Solid State Drive, this uh, this one here actually, uh, this Intel X25M uh, 80 gig. So I decided to give it a try. So here's uh, here's where I'm going to hook it up. Actually, this middle one here happens to be a 10,000 RPM uh, Western Digital Raptor from, you know, Platter Drive, obviously, from a few years ago. So we're going to pit that against, uh, you know, this new guy here. So I'm going to just hook it up real quick. And uh, just throw the box away. Hold on there. Drop that on the floor. As you can see, I like to keep everything really neat and tidy. Now, I don't think that these need a lot of uh, cooling, but I could be wrong about that. So let's see. I guess it's got a standard SATA plug and stuff on the back. Now, if you're wondering where these orange cables are coming from, and I'm sure that you are, they're actually coming from the ODD ports. I'm going to plug in the SATA here. So we got the, uh, the SATA plug and the uh, power, which is just in series with all these, or rather in parallel with the other drives. I'm going to go ahead and initialize it. So there's our new guy. I'm actually going to clone the, an existing drive, so just make sure it races. So that was pretty darn quick. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Both uh, hard drives are cloned to each other. I'm going to first boot up off of the standard uh, Platter 10,000 RPM Raptor uh, by Western Digital. And hear the 10,000 RPM hard drive whirling away. You can ignore my printer as it struggles to print without paper. Leave her over a minute at this point. All right. All right. Well, that'll about do it. Here we go, we're round two. Now we're set to boot off of the solid state drive that I just purchased. that printer again.
so it seemed like that was much quicker. So when all was said and done, the 10,000 RPM Raptor, uh, you know, traditional Western Digital platter drive, was about a, one minute and 40 seconds, and the solid state drive was one minute and 22 seconds. So that doesn't seem like that much. It's about 18 seconds, but it actually is uh, a heck of a lot because there are a lot of things that occur when my computer boots up that uh, would take the same amount of time even if your hard drive was basically instantaneous. I think it was about the same anyway. It shaved about 18 seconds off the boot time. Um, all in all, I think I'd be fairly satisfied. I'm going to start playing uh, StarCraft 2 and see if the load time's any better and uh, you know various things like that but I, I believe that this is pretty appreciable. So still waiting on this uh, the cloning process to complete so I was just uh, just marveling at this wonderful piece of technology. Uh, it, it so happens that uh, you know if the solid state drive doesn't offer any uh, speed boost to my computer I can always just, you know, take this sticker that came with it and just adhere it right to the front of the Mac Pro like this. And that should speed it up by, uh, you know, at least 10 seconds or so, I would imagine. I mean, why else would they include this sticker uh, to indicate how fast it is? So, this is the equivalent of like a Type R sticker, you know, like you would put on your car. You uh, 